If you're looking for a country that will feed you well, then look no further than Taiwan. This small but feisty country has a huge appetite for all things edible. Taiwanese food is heavily influenced by Chinese and Japanese cuisines, but has its own signature style. And the best way to sample these are at any of Taiwan's popular night markets. In this video, I've picked some of what I think are Taiwan's top eats you definitely need to try. Taiwan is obsessed with tofu, and even though there's no specific signature dish that best represents the country, I'm unofficially christening tofu as Taiwan's favorite ingredient, and you can find this prepared in a number of ways. This is exactly as the name suggests, and this sweet savory combination is what I call an acquired taste. There is nothing more comforting than digging into a big bowl of beef noodle soup with a pair of chopsticks and a soup spoon. This flavorful broth has chunks of beef along with pak choy and noodle and is deceptively filling. You can find all sorts of Chinese style dumplings in Taiwan, but most of them are stuffed with pork as it's the favorite choice of meat. Though none of them can compare to the Xiaolong Bao at Taiwan's famous Din Tai Fung restaurant that's practically a global phenomenon with outlets all over the world. This Shanghai style dumpling stuffed with pork and gelatinous broth is legendary. Tiger Baos are a local nickname given to these baos because of their bright yellow color. The baos are stuffed with meat, usually pork with spices and condiments and made into a sandwich. It's often also called guao bao or a Taiwanese burger and you can eat these with any baos but the yellow colored ones are just more fun. Sushi is a big part of Taiwanese cuisine and some of the finest sashimi can be found here like this incredibly fresh sashimi I had with some local fishermen the one day I was at sea. But more about that in another video. If you're thinking Taiwanese street food, then the first thing you should eat is their oyster omelette. Yep, that's right. It's an omelette stuffed with oysters along with some greens and plenty of sauce for some additional flavor. A local treat here is to have your beef cut into bite-sized pieces, grilled on a barbecue and then blowtorched to perfection. You can customize this with your choice of sauce or condiments, but the highlight is really watching your food being blowtorched. Sometimes, eggs can seem like peasant food, but when they're tiny quail eggs, seasoned and served on a stick, they're incredible. They're the perfect snack to nibble at while deciding what to eat next. Squid and octopus come from the same family in the ocean, and on the streets of Taiwan, sometimes they're hard to differentiate. Always barbecued, glazed with some special sauce and served on a stick, I'd say this is a popular snack because they are everywhere. And sometimes they're massive. Look at the size of these guys. For a complete meal, I'd highly recommend a hot pot. You have to bring your broth to a boil, add in your meats and greens and actually cook your own food. Seems like hard work, but it is so worth it. That broth is beyond flavorful and as you can see, I devoured those prawns. While the food is deadly, you can't ignore Taiwan's bubble tea. It would be wrong to have a list of must-eats without bubble tea. You get them in all sorts of flavors, with or without milk, but this was the first time I went behind the counter and watched them make one. Once the tea is all loaded up, it's slipped inside a machine and then, voila! It's beautifully packed and all ready for you. Taiwan has so much more to offer in terms of food. This was just the tip of the iceberg. I hope you've enjoyed watching as much as I did eating. I've got a lot more coming up in this series. There's a video every week, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like and share this video. And I'll see you soon.